Hey fellows, it's Benny back again and this lesson goes along with my new page series like uh, introducing some chord forms, progressions. It's kind of the proper chord thing, but this time you can download all the chords, just follow the link below. And this is called minor turnarounds and more. And I will just do a quick walkthrough through all the things that we have here. So I will do the examples in the key of C first and later maybe switch to the key of A for some open string ideas. So the basic turnaround in minor, it's different than major because in gypsy jazz actually, we do not do so many different minor turnarounds concerning quality of chords. While in contemporary jazz, you do a lot of melodic minor ideas and stuff like this, that basically in gypsy jazz, we do more basic kind of things like one, six, five, one, stuff like that. But anyway, there are some options that you can use and I will show you the most common one. Let's do a quick walkthrough. This is the first example. You might recognize this as the intro of blues or mineur in G. And you will find that here it's like it's like in C, it's like C minor, then it's kind of A flat seven with E flat in the bass like a kind of G7. This is D minor six, but actually we're in the range of G7 already. The next one will do the same thing, but with more diatonic ideas. So after the C, I'm playing an E flat six, which can be also an inversion of C minor seven. And I'm playing a G half diminished chord, G7. The next idea will be a little bit more tricky and this is also a very often heard sound for example it's very often played as the outro of blue bossa so from the c minor six we go to a half diminished and then play the two five like d half diminished and g seven Sure you heard that before. So also very important of course is the hit the road jack movement and this is something that you can always play you know. In gypsy jazz or hot jazz in particular it's used in the song Topsy and that will be like you can play it with a C6 chord, C minor 6 chord or a C minor 7 chord. It's the typical sounds beautiful in a bossa context as well in a song like Black Orpheus like beautiful isn't it? this is this one so but what you often do and this is the next example you just play like big chords and just a small chord movement for example C minor 6 a lot no doubt about that so another thing that you often do in gypsy jazz when playing just one five which happens a lot at the end of a song imagine there's only two bars so you would just play one five like but therefore you can do something with the five I like to walk up with the five like so I'm playing I'm playing G7 pretty normal G7 with B in the bass, which is very beautiful as well. So um, one of the things that you can also do, and now we switch key, we go to A minor. This is something that I taught on Instagram, is you can do some reharmonization on a 2-5 stuff. It's no longer a turnaround, but also the 2-5 at the end of a song is used in a turnaround context. Turnarounds and 2-5s are the basic brick stones of jazz harmony. So instead of playing black off just like everybody does with A minor 7, B half diminished and E, I substitute the A minor 7 by a C major inversion. So a little cut because the uh, cell phone was had, had some kind of error. So um, I stopped at, with this progression. For example for black off it's so beautiful. So we got the inversion of C major 7 here, F major 
major seven chord for the B half diminished chord and F minor six nine as a substitution for E. You can play that up here too. Wherever you like. So another beautiful thing is using some very wide chords or some special chords. For example, when I'm playing this, Here I'm playing an E chord with an augmented fifth with a flat 13, you could say, and also with a raised 11, uh, with a raised 9, I'm sorry. E, G sharp, C, and then with the index I'm doing like D and G. Let's see what's next. So, you all know this mu movement from My Funny Valentine, or for example, um, Stay Away to Heaven. Most of the time it's played like here, but it's very beautiful to put that in the bass. So here are some examples for that. And as you can see, you can find all the charts. Just follow the link below to, you know, be able to understand everything better. There's every chord written out that I'm playing here. So I put this one in the bass and the result's just beautiful. I'm doing like... Ah, that's beautiful. I can use some different voicings instead for, of the E with the... G sharp the bass, I'm can doing like I can do a longer progression, like I'm doing the A minor, substituting E with a D chord. And like in no moon at all, I play A7 with G in the bass. Nice chord. Now from D major with F sharp in the bass, I go to D minor. So another one that's used a lot is the James Bond progression. I call it the James Bond progression. You know what I'm talking about. It's that little movement from the fifth, like with E, F and F sharp in the key of A. And this is the most easy way to do it. With the triad in the fifth position, just letting the melody move on the B string. But there's other very important options. For example, having the inversion here and then putting the melody in the A string played with big chords. Very important also. What you can also do, and this is the last two things that I want to show you, it's a very special 2-5 that I like a lot. And it's leading not only to A minor, but it can also be a substitution for D minor G leading to C, but also for B flat diminished E leading to A minor. So instead of a normal 2-5, you play F sharp half diminished, F minor 6, and let that resolve to A minor. This is beautiful. And you can, as I said, lead, let, let, let it go to C as well. This is beautiful. So hope you liked that. If you liked it, subscribe to my channel. Check out the link below for all the course written down and um, follow me on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. For more lessons, there's tons of material on my channel. This was Sven Jungbeck from, for you. Cheers, buddies.